What's up, you guys? This is Mary. I'm with RPC's Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future videos. Just saying. Free general readings, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Okay, so the channel I got in was um, someone is watching you very, very heavy to see if you get the the money the very very large amount of money um that was stolen from you that is what i heard so you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you someone is watching you very very heavy to see if you get the large amount of stolen money um large amount of money that was stolen from you so you plug it in however that resonates so heavy heavy like lurking i hope they're not creeping down your street with binoculars peeping through your window um Hopefully nobody's got a hidden camera plan in anybody's house anymore. Just saying. Um, I don't feel it's that. I don't feel it's hidden camera energy. I feel it's social media stalking, possibly. If you do a public platform, they obviously watch your public platform. Um, and um, it might be drives by your house, possibly. Uh, I don't feel it's like binocular energy, super creeper deeper energy. I don't feel, but you plug it in how it resonates um someone's watching you very very heavy to see if you get a large amount of stolen money some is because of a job offer some it's because of they want to come take advantage of you money oh my god but it's not gonna work Okay, her's not going to work. <laughs> wow. Greedy ass people in the world. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So they're watching, some people are watching you for some kind of job offer. Um, so they want to offer you a job or they're thinking about offering you a job, but they're trying to play their cards right. But the thing is, is if you go in for the job and you get a large amount of money, some people might quit. Some people might not. Everybody has free will. So just because somebody comes into a very, very large amount of money doesn't mean they're going to quit. And um, maybe uh, somebody needs to hear that. Just saying. I mean, that's the truth. Bro, bro. Um, you plug in how it resonates. But that's one person that's heavily watching you if this resonates. I don't feel that's the um, taking advantage energy. But for some, it could be. For some, they um, might want to just hire you in for strategic reasons, possibly. Um, but... There's another person that's watching you very heavy because they want to take advantage. They want to take advantage of the situation. So I think they want to come in and pull on your heartstrings or they want to try to sex you up or um, they want to try to manipulate you to get to your bank account, to get to your money. Um, that's, that's the two energies I'm feeling for this. Um, but I heard that's not going to work. So I think that goes with the second one, number two. Um, they, you know, it could be somebody from the past, like a friend or a frenemy. Obviously, this is frenemy energy if it's a friend from the past. I uh, want to come in and, oh, hey, buddy, buddy, it's been 10 years. And um, act like they never knew that you um, had the money sold from you in the first place. But try to buddy it up with you. Butter it up. For some, it could be a family member from the past. Um, watching to see. And then come in and give you communication when you get the money. Oh, my God, it's been forever. I have... And then act like they didn't know, but they did. Uh, for some, it could be a neighbor. For some, it could be um, a lover of the past. For some, it could be somebody that wanted to be with you in the past, and they never were. Um, but I heard that's not going to work. So you're not going to let them get in your bank account if you do get this money anyways. Um, that's the energy I'm feeling. I feel you're very protected. You are protecting yourself. Um, I don't feel like you're protected like, like with law enforcement or um, feds or something like that. I feel you are protecting yourself. Um, for some, you could have weapons like stash in your home for self-defense. Um, for some, you could, um, just be staying away from people that you feel would potentially try to manipulate you. Whether, whoever this is, you don't have the money yet. I'll tell you that. But I think you sense it might be coming, um, possibly for some. And, um, or you just want to protect your energy, however that resonates. Um, or it could be both. Um, it's 2021. It's very smart to protect your energy. People are so greedy and selfish these days, and that's just the truth. It's the truth. 
All right, I'm going to get some Kipper out. I mean, not everybody's like that. Not everybody's like that. I just want to disclaim that. Not everybody is. But there are a lot of people like that. If people wasn't greedy and selfish in 2021, we wouldn't have these kind of readings. And that's just the truth. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Okay, I heard someone's getting a huge wake-up call. But it's the truth. It's the truth. So you're getting a huge wake-up call about something here or something in your personal life or both. But it's the truth. If you're getting a huge wake-up call about people being greedy and selfish in 2021 and still getting readings like this and in the energetic space, that's the truth. Because it's, it's the energy that um, the readers are channeling in and picking up on. And I mean, because it's the truth. Spirit message is seen Spirit message is Spirit message is seen Stop. We have message of concern. Upright, child reversed, mature woman reversed, false person upright. A very immature feminine energy. Is about to get the police call on her soon. Drug user, unfit parent. Children will be removed from her home. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I heard a particular femme energy is about to get the, um, um, about to get governmental entity agency energy called on her basically. Whether it's law enforcement or child protection services or both. Whoever this is, she currently has children in her home currently. Heard she's a drug user. Um, and um, apparently somebody knows this and they're about to call. And um, she's going to be very, very, very angry. Will not handle it well at all. Very immature and selfish. Oh, my God. Okay, I heard she's going to be very, very, very angry. She's not going to handle it all at well at all. Very, very, very selfish. So I feel she might get the police called on her, child protective services called on her, or both. But she has a child or children currently in her possession, in her custody, in her home. It sounds like right now in the energetic spaces. Um, it sounds like the children or child or children can be removed from the home. Um, is what it sounds like. Um, you plug it in, how that resonates. Will be removed. Okay, I heard will be removed. They will be removed. So child or children will be removed from the home. Um, but the the fem energy, I heard it's an immature fem energy. Now it could be 45 year old fem mature fem energy, 25 year old mature fem uh, immature fem energy, 35 year old immature fem energy, 55 year old immature fem energy. But it's not about age. You can be 25 and be very mature, mentally mature. You can be 55 and be very mentally mature. It's about your up here, how you act. And if you're shooting drugs up in your veins or snorting drugs up your nasal passages or shooting something between your toes or fingers or what have you, and you have a child in the home, that's obviously not mentally stable, fit parent behavior. Obviously not. Obviously not. Um, if somebody knows about this and they're about to call, they're about to call and create negative series of chain of events for her. Um, it's really sad because I heard she's very selfish and greedy. So she obviously puts the, her drug use above her children, obviously. Um, and it's very sad. It's very, very sad. But um, that is where we're at in the energetic space. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. She could be the one that has a large amount of stolen money, too. 
from you. She could be the one that has your large amount of stolen money for some. That's what I'm feeling for some of you guys. Because there's a reason I'm bringing her here in this reading. Um, I think she has your large amount of stolen money. And she might, and she probably is using it for drugs. Um, that's what I'm feeling for some. That's exactly what I'm feeling. Message of starting upright. Let me see if I hear anything else. Just going to do it all together. Number 14, 18, 6, or 8 might be very significant to you. 14, 18, 6, or 8. Those could be ages of children that's possibly going to be taken out by CPS or police. It could be um, ages of, um, it, well, those are all could all be ages of children. 14, 6, or 8. Um, or it could be an 18-year-old adult, possibly. Or it could be ages of somebody you're connected to. Um or this ages of these children, or it's fem energy, or somebody you're connected to, however it resonates. It can be a social security number, a date of birth number, a green card number, a um, lottery number, any significant number in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. And also, too, I was going to point out, eight, angel number 888 is signifying abundance, abundance and wealth in the material realm. So money, large amount of money, material wealth in the material, uh, in the 3D realm. Um, I think the series of chain of events for who this resonates with is going to lead to you getting your money is what I'm feeling with the 888 energy. Um, somebody's going to send a message of concern to government mental ent entity agency energy, either police, CPS, or both about this very immature drug user BIM energy. It's going to create negative series of chain of events for her, is what I'm feeling. Child reverse, she's not, she's an unfit parent. She does not take care of her children properly. Um, child or children, she puts drugs over her children or child. However, that resonates. Mature woman reverse, she's very immature. Um, she, like I said, you can be 55 and be very mature, be 25 and be very mature. It's not about your age, it is about your mental capacity. And obviously, she does, puts her own selfish needs above the welfare and being of child or children. So she's very immature, mature woman in reverse. False person, she's very fake to the community, fake to the world. Um, she puts her drug usage over her child, child or children. But somebody knows this, somebody knows this. For some, a grandmother is about to call. For some, it's someone in the legal sector for some, it is an officer connected to this person, used to be sexually connected. Oh my God. Okay, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do fit. Um, you could be these people about to call. You could be, God, I hope you're not this drug user, immature, them energy, puts her drugs over her kids. Um, or you could be the one that got the large ass amount of money stolen from you, probably from her. You plug it in how it resonates. But um, I heard... For some, it's a grandmother about the call. So the grandmother knows about this person that uses drugs and basically puts, and she might, the grandmother might know about the drugs and she might know about the stolen money, possibly for some. For some, they might just know about the drugs. For some, they might know about the stolen money. For some, they might know about both. So for some, it's a grandmother about the call, whether it's CPS or law enforcement or what have you. For some, it is a, um, I heard a officer that used to be sexually connected to this fem energy. So she has, he has had sexual relations with her in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, it sounds like in the past or recent past or long past, however that resonates, but he knows. He knows about either the stolen money, the drug usage, or both, and he's about to call. And um, for some, what was the third one? Oh, legal sector. And it's uh, and for some, it's somebody in the legal sector about to call on this um, drug user fem energy. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Holy moly, oh money. Let me see if I hear anything else. This is about to be a very pivotal moment. In many, 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 many people's lives. Balance is about to start being restored. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Wow, this is a big happening coming up. Whoever this is, it hasn't happened yet. It's about to happen. Like I said, you could be the grandmother about to call on this chick. Chickadoo is a femme energy um, with the child or children. For some, you could be a, 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 an officer. I think an officer of the law um, is what I think. 
officer is either like police officer, investigator, or um, governmental entity agency like Fed Energy, Marshall Energy, or um, or um, Feds, Marshall, or um, what's the other one I was trying to think of? Or CIA, or CIA, how that resonates um, for some of you guys. But you used to be sexually connected to this drug user, Fem Energy, but you're not no more. I think you separated yourself from her. And for some, you're in the legal sector and you know about this and you're about to make a call. Um, you could be these people. You could be the person watching. Um, you could be the person that got the money stolen from you. Um, you could be, um, that's what I'm feeling. Or it could be somebody else that knows about this situation that's connected to this drug user, Fem Energy. However, that resonates. Um, but I heard basically when these series of chain events occur, because they have not occurred yet, it sounds like they're about to. Um, everybody's on different time of life paths. So for some, it could occur today, for some tomorrow, for some a few days from now. However, that resonates. But however it resonates, um, when um, police or child protective services or both get called on her, it's basically going to start creating negative series of chain events for her, but it needs to. But many other series of chain events for many other people. But I heard balance is going to be um, start being restored in the universe because of this. So she is energetically holding up a lot of people um, is exactly what I'm feeling. Um, I feel she's a huge karmic block to a lot of people because she's hoarding a bunch of stolen money that she shouldn't have, one. Two, she's um, abusing drugs. Three, she has children in the home when she's abusing drugs. I mean, ew. That's, um, four, she's obviously very selfish to the community because she's, I feel, I didn't hear this, but my intuitive logic, reasoning, and guesstimate, she's probably using the money, stolen money, on drugs. Probably. I hope to God she, um, I hope that these children aren't older and she's, um, I didn't hear the ages on the child or children. I hope they're not older and they're not um, trying to get the children to, participate in drug use. Um, I hope to God not, but you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Or a young child gets a hold of like a freaking oxy or a perk or some crap and then freaking falls out. Um, you, you know, I mean, that's dangerous. That is so dangerous. Okay. All right, we're done. I love you guys. I hope this helped. I'm going to say, if you think anyone else can benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Love you guys.